Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dope Motions and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this realistic looking metallic logo animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugins. It's a super fun effect, very easy to create. And if you're interested in more such logo animation tutorial, I have a complete playlist ready for you. Link in the description. With that said, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. all right guys so here we are in after effects let's start by creating a new composition let's go with 1920 by 1080 call this render as our main render comp 30 fps and 10 seconds long press ok then create another new composition this is going to be our logo placeholder so let's call this logo you can also type in any text if you want to in the assets, I have a few logos, so I'll use the After Effects logo itself and scale that down. And I also want to add some nice stroke at the border of this logo. So I'll right click, go into layer style and add a stroke. It's not necessary, but just so that it looks good. So something like that. And let's pick the color from the logo itself. And there you go. All right. Now let's create our HDRI animation for the reflection. So to do that, I'll create a new composition again, call this HDRI and press OK. Now what I'm going to do is select the pen tool and make sure it's set to shape and the fill is white. And let's create a very random shape like that. Now you can hold shift to create a proper straight handle line and then click right here click one more click again and create a shape like so okay we can adjust it if we want to like so so that looks good i'll select the layer press p to bring down the position create a keyframe and drag that out of the frame then let's go to one second and let's drag this up like so you can hold shift and then move it like so so we have a very nice simple animation i think it's way too fast so let's go to around three seconds and drag this keyframe right here let's see yep that is looking much better now select the layer go to effects and presets and search for fast box blur double click to apply that and let's add a value of around 10 just to blur out the edges and then add an effect called turbulent displace double click to apply that Let's set the displacement preset to bulge and I'll play around with the value a little bit. Okay, that's a way too much. Okay, that is looking good and increase the size quite high. So somewhere around there. You can also play around with the complexity if you want to make it a bit more complex, but let's keep it very subtle. So 1.2 is looking good. So now when it animates, we have this wavy look that is going to be our reflection. So our HDRI is ready. Basically, it looks very funny, but yeah. This is what it is, but we will make it look really cool. Now let's create another composition called this stroke. Press OK and drag the logo composition here and right click, go into layer style and add a stroke. Go into the stroke properties and make it black. Now the reason I'm making it black, I will tell you in a second as we proceed with the tutorial. Now let's go back into our main render composition. Press Ctrl Y. To create a new solid call this bg for background make sure it's black press ok drag the logo composition like so and go right here and double click to create a mask so now we have a mask on it as you can see animate the mask path so i'll go right here let's go to two seconds create a keyframe on the mask path go all the way up to zero select the mask select these two points and hold shift and drag it like so so we have a very simple animation now let's go into the feather properties and increase this a little bit like so so around maybe somewhere around 230 should be fine so now we have this nice reveal now let's add the stroke composition on top of it and i'm going to hide it add the hdri composition on top and then drag the logo composition on top of that select the hdri layer go into track mat and select the logo one now i'm using the alpha mat if you're using an older version you can simply select it and set this layer to alpha mat and also change the blend mode of this to add so now if i preview this we have this nice reflection but it doesn't look that real as of now but yeah it looks good 
Select the HDRI layer and go to effects and presets and search for a very interesting effect called CC Blobby Lice. Double click on that, go into the blobbiness, set this to stroke composition that we created previously. So we get this a really nice look, but we need to change a few settings here. First of all, let's set the cutaway to zero and bring down the softness to around 10. Then go into the light properties and I think I'll leave it as it is for now. Let's go into effects and presets again and add an effect called CC glass. Double click to apply that. Go into the surface and set this one to stroke as well. Let's bring down the softness to around 7 and let's also bring down the displacement to minus 280. So now you can see it looks much more realistic. Okay, so that is looking quite nice. Let's go into the light settings and bring down the light height to 45. Then add an effect called fast blur in order to tune down the edges. Right now it looks very sharp. So to make it look a bit more realistic, I'll bring down the blur radius to 0.2 and set this to 2 as well. Just to make it look a bit more realistic. As you can see now it looks much more like a metal reflection looks very nice actually and then i will add a very simple animation of scale on this so i'll select the logo comp press s to bring down the scale properties create a keyframe go to three seconds and scale this down a little bit like so we can also add some text so i'll select the text tool type in the text that you want for the font i'm using the clash display one of my favorite font for now and i will animate this so i'll go right here place it right over here press p to bring down the position create a keyframe go back oh all right one more thing press t to bring down the opacity create a keyframe press u so we can see all the keyframes go back and bring down the position a little bit like so and bring down the opacity to zero then select all the keyframes right click keyframe assistant easy ease or you can simply press f9 go into the graph editor right click and select edit speed graph and I'll place my time indicator in the center and try to create a peak like so. So now we have this really nice animation as you can see. So let's preview our complete animation and as you can see it looks very very nice. Now one more cool thing that you can do is you can jump into the HDRI and use a different image. You can actually use an HDR image. So here I have an HDRI image that we can play around with. I'll scale this up like so and what I'll do is I'll create a mask on this maybe somewhere around there and copy this effects from here so press ctrl c to copy it and paste it on this HDRI select this shape I'll go right here and columns and bring up the parent option and parent this to this shape layer so it animates along with that we can hide the shape layer so we have something like this and we can basically animate the evolution so Create a keyframe right here, go all the way up and let's increase this like so. So we have a basic evolution as you can see looks like this. But now if I go back, we have a much more realistic looking reflection. As you can see, it looks pretty damn cool. And there you have your realistic looking metal logo animation inside of After Effects. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to check out our other logo animation tutorials. We have a complete playlist ready for you. You can also follow me on Instagram at dope.motions. And if you're feeling generous, please do support us on Patreon. All the links are in the description below. With that said, I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and always stay raw, stay creative. Peace out.